Yeah, hi guys. Um, let me show you the powerful differential equation made easy app uh, available at tiinspireapps.com. This app is very powerful because it solves uh, first order, second order, and also higher order differential equation step by step. In addition, we also uh, provide you with uh, transforms, Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform, and also have some extra tools included for you that are um, power that are needed for your differential equation made easy class. So let's go through a couple of uh, examples. Separation of variables. Um, if you enter a separable differential equation such as x times y, um, you can see how the variables get separated and uh, you can see the setup here of the integral and the actual integration taking place and then finally you end up with your general solution and uh, based on your initial condition you will then get your particular solution okay very handy um, for sorry first order differential equation say you're given an exact differential equation. Okay, so this is um, y dx, y, that's your first input, plus x dy um, is equal to zero. Well, it turns out that that differential equation is exact since they are partial derivatives match. And then you can see the steps here. 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the steps are performed here for you. And uh, we arrive at the general solution x times y is equal to c. Now again, using your initial condition, say we have 1, 8, your particular solution turns out to be then x times y is equal to 8. Because remember, we got x times y is equal to c, as our general solution. So this is for exact and of course you can also non-exact differential equations and uh, you get your integrating factor in order to make them exact. All of this uh, done step by step. Logistic differential equation, Bernoulli and of course we also have uh, numerical methods included for you. Euler method, runge uh, four midpoint. Okay, so let me show you an example here. Your this is how you have to enter it, differential equation, step size, and the number of steps. So say we're going to use five steps instead of four. St starting point is zero, 1. And um, so Euler method is here laid out for you, the method, the starting point, zero, 1. And then since our step size is point 0.1, you can see that the axis always increased by point 0.1 and on the right you see the new y coordinates that you get as you perform the Euler method and this would be your final y coordinate using five steps if you only u use four steps you get your immediate correct answer okay let's look at some second order differential equations you can always solve any second order differential equation quickly without steps but if you desire steps let's say you have a homogeneous uh, second order differential equation you just enter that equation here and down here are your initial conditions and uh, to scroll uh, to see the answer you scroll up uh, to see that the characteristic equation based on this differential equation is this and you solve that characteristic equation you get your zeros you plug in your zeros 1 and 2 into your general solution and here we go. Now based on your initial condition you will end up with this particular solution. Now let me show you if I change my initial condition well that means your particular solution looks uh, different and you can recognize your exponents 1 and 2 as the zeros of the characteristic equation. 
and of course you can find uh, undetermined coefficients, uh, variation of parameter, everything done for you step by step. Cauchy Euler, Bessel Le Legrand, Legendre um, differential equation, higher order differential equation. Well, similar to what we just saw with second order, we can do the same also for third order differential equation. Um, here in this particular differential equation we actually have the same zero repeated three times which yields this homogeneous solution. Here are our initial condition. Now we have one more input because we have the in order is one higher than before and we get our particular solution step by step. Transforms, Laplace transform, sine of let's say 2t gets plugged into the Laplace integral and then this Laplace integral gets evaluated from 0 to infinity and we end up with 2 over s squared plus 4. Watch this. I change the input function slightly, I immediately get my correct Laplace transform. And where there's a Laplace transform, there's an inverse Laplace transform and a table of Laplace transform and also a table of Fourier transforms. Extras, um, if you need to find the Ronsky in, for example, you just uh, put in, enter your two given functions. In this case, we have two polynomials and you can see that the determinant here is not always zero so that therefore these two functions that you entered are not linear independent. Um, partial differential equations you can read about them but not solve uh, them in this app. And this concludes our little introduction to this app if you have any questions, uh, email us and uh, ask us any questions. Otherwise, uh, you can find many more apps at tinspireapps.com. Thanks for watching.